Uh, this is a country rock act called Gideon's Daughter with their song Never Gonna Leave You. Gideon's daughter. I think they fall asleep. <laughs> oh, you gotta love. I, I love it. I love it. Um, get a little late for you over there in Arizona, Dave. What no, I, I just had a, I took a sip of wine and it just it, <laughs> just you know, got me going. All right, so Gideon's daughter. We were having a little discussion about these guys uh, behind this behind the overlay here as we were listening. Um, I, you know, I really like. Uh, the mix of the country and rock with these guys um you know yeah i know what you're gonna say about the uh you know the Me mixing too. and stuff like that yeah. some of the comments right now is Sonia says she thinks it's a nice sound she hears some bluegrass back there thinks he has a cool bass line uh mr towel who's a who's a critic by the way he is thinks it has some soul and then uh, Sonia says, yeah, wine. So, <laughs> <laughs> A lot of wine drinkers out there. So um, tell, me, tell me your thoughts on this one. Yeah, okay. So, like, here's the progression of my music career. It started just as a touring musician, got into composition, and then production, and then, you know, obviously web development. Now I'm a critic and artist developer, in a sense. And... Ooh. So I'm looking back at my early days and I remember having this really warped perception about writing music. And I thought back then, I'm like, if, if I can write a great song, as long as I just get it down on tape, I'm fine. And the people, the smart people will notice that it's a great song and it'll just take off, right? Mm -hmm. And it, 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 and I, I was confident about that point, and I, I just could not have been more wrong because if the if the EQ and the mix is like that bad, it's the important the important people you want to reach will not even like finish listening. And this song was bordering on that, and it it was really painful for me. It was really frustrating because listening to uh, all the instrumentation very cool parts a lot of a lot of really nice ear candy going on um when you look at it in terms of the playing it's it's very impressive but the mix man this was so like thin and tinny the eq is just really bothering me in this song and it, and it hurt and if the band's watching i i don't you know i don't want them to get like upset or defensive this it's an opportunity you know to just think about remixing the 
the song and maybe some of your other songs i haven't heard them but if the other ones are this like have the same eq um it's really important it's really important if, if people are listening and it just bothers their like most people's ears um reach out to some more people outside of like your kind of your like tight bubble of friends reach out to acquaintances reach out to more people like get that unbiased uh review on it and i think you'll you'll hear a lot of what i'm saying right now um but that that's what i heard joe how about you well yeah um well yeah i mean i just i i agree um a little high on the high end um i really like the mandolin or the ukulele i think it's a mandolin with the hook i thought that was great i even heard like it's weird to say but like a little bit of a fleetwood mac influence with the sure, yeah. lady's voice and i liked her voice a lot um so you know we got fletch towel on the review coming up here in a couple of days so nice, right? on that fletch <laughs> um, all right so